Operation 16. The Seven Shades wants to put on an amazing underwear. Ooh, lingerie incoming. Holy shit, what? That was a double V. See? The most replayed section here is a double V from Ita. This is a rare double V. V, V. Did she just take padding? Did Ada invent push-up bras today? Where's Epsilon at? Where's Epsilon at? Yeah. Magic. Shadow says something about this? <laughs> the fucking frame perfect. Those who don't have breasts pushes them up from below. And as soon as she says that, Epsilon enters the scene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. What? The effect is devastating. What? The job of Natsumi, her alter ego, right? The, the, no, Natsumi's role is to fucking be an author and enthrall people that way. Not fucking use push-up pads and fucking show up to signing conferences and be like, look at this booba, please buy my books. Then again, if there was a big booba girl that was selling me books, you know what? I think I'd be in line for an autograph. I, I think that's actually genius. <laughs> Beta actually uses her beauty to charm targets to extract info from them, like Nelson. Are you saying Nelson has his beauty? What's Nelson, Nelson flexing? His fucking baldness? What, his fucking spandex suit when he wears that in battle? <laughs> Boobs! Maybe. You're not well endowed. <laughs> At this point, everybody pretty much knows that she just like, you know, pads this shit, right? Like Omega and Kai absolutely know, but the rest of the Seven Shades, they do understand that this is fake, right? There's no way nobody thinks that Epsilon is real, right? I'm not sure, actually. No, the Shades do not know, really? Huh, okay. <laughs> you got the Chichi right over here, the breasts? Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this kind of like invalidate her entire existence? Her entire existence is built upon defeating her, you know, the cards that she was dealt at birth. You know, she can't, you know, make her booba bigger. But with the power of magic, she's able to surpass nature and, you know, compensate for that. But now if you made push-up bras like this, what the fuck? Y you're kind of, you're kind of like invalidating all her fucking, her, her life. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> Not you, Epsilon, relax. I mean, in the book signing episode in season one, when Beta was sitting down, the camera angle was very sus. It was a very top-down angle. The guy, the horny guys would come up to fucking get autographs and they would look down while Natsumi's like sitting down and looking up like that. So I guess that's where the tactical cleavage strategy comes in, huh? It's, it boosts the sales. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure, misunderstanding, ha ha ha. <laughs> Something is fishy. Whoa! FNAF? Delta? What's going on here? I think this, what did you, what did you say? Lie to starting device. So Ada also has like a lie detector, but this looks like a fucking robot that's gonna punish you. You know? Oh, the only running gag that Epsilon has is her fucking, oh, this my boobies too small or, too, uh, you know, my fake booba, you know, stuff like that. But still, they're, they're still going with it pretty hard, man. Operation 17 Kagejitsu, let's go. Kagejitsu. This is season one finale, technically. What are we doing? Oh, oh they all have burger? Alpha has Borgar! Look! Everybody has Borgar rappers! Cute anime girls! Eating Borgar! Oh. Okay. Oh, this is after Oriana joined? 
I want you guys to pay attention. Pay very close attention to the, the synchronous bites. This is the most replayed section, by the way. You know why? Because this is the burger eating sounds. Listen. <laughs> Did you see the order of who ate first? I'm not sure if this matters, but look. Look. Alpha bites first because she's the leader. Hum. Beta takes the next bite as if she's next in charge. Then... Epsilon with Delta, Hi. Eta, Gamma, Zeta at the end. Now, this order of biting, I don't think determines anything, but I, I don't think it really matters. No, no, I'm looking too deep into things. Breaking them in? How's Mitsugoshi doing, huh? <laughs> Gamma choking on her food there, did you see that? How's Mitsugoshi doing? This doesn't even count as hand-eye coordination, but how could you be so fucking unathletic you start choking on Borgar after a question? <laughs> right, the real estate, you know, bubble popping, shit like that. They were doing stuff like that. What was Shadow doing at this point? I forget. <laughs> it takes like five fucking minutes for that girl to say a single word, dude. <laughs> okay, just just a quick little burger break, that's it? Mm -hmm. Oh. This new product as a burger? Skimiru, moon viewing burger is far too delicious to keep it at a limited time only product. Okay, this is like the equivalent of the McDonald's fucking McRib or something. You got a special promo burger, okay. <laughs> Delta's eating seconds! Delta's eating another burger! <laughs> Notice that Delta has no mission? Delta's mission is to fucking be cute and eat burger, see? She's the only one eating the second burger here. <laughs> <laughs> She's still eating! Oh, oh, oh? Ada, what are you doing? What is that? Is that spicy sauce? What is that? Uh oh. What if this is super spicy? Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what'd you put on that? She was like, ew! <laughs> What is it? Oh, like sweet and sour chili sauce, maybe? This isn't ketchup. They're, they're, they're not inventing ketchup, right? No. Is this the invention of the ketchup happening before our eyes right now in Mitsugoshi? Is that... Are you telling me they've been eating burgers this entire time without ketchup? These fucking monsters. you telling me they never had ketchup? These are dry ass burgers? Mitsugoshi was sent to this, like, selling? What the fuck? This changes everything. No, they said red chili. Yeah, they did say red chili, but it's like, Kim Jim, if this is ketchup, dude. <laughs> That's like, I think Skimidu is an actual burger or something. Or is that a red moon? The burger is red? <laughs> the burger is red? No way. This season two was a teaser for the moon is red? It makes sense, though. Because this is... The season finale of Kagejitsu season 1 and we go right into season 2. That's crazy guys. The Borgar is red. <laughs>